Hey everyone, so today's makeup look, <laughs> Halloween look I should say, is this stapled face, I don't even know. Um, this was like the first time I tried this out, so I did make a few mistakes, but I really really like how it came out still, so I wanted to show you the tutorial. So I'm using a knife to use my scar wax, don't do this, use a spatula, my spatula just hadn't arrived in the mail yet, so I was using a knife because I'm dumb, but it worked out fine, but yeah, I am not encouraging it, don't do it people, don't do it kids. Don't try this at home. So I'm taking a little bit of scar wax and I'm just shaping it. And before I did this, I used a little bit of like a silicone primer on my fingers to stop it from sticking to my hands. And then to stick it down to my skin, I'm using some liquid latex. You should probably like remove your makeup before doing this, but I'd filmed a tutorial before this. So I was just like rolling with it. But it'll blend better, I think, on bare skin perhaps. I am really, really, really not an expert at this. Um, and then I'm just smoothing down the edges so it's flush with my skin as possible and adding some more like moisture to my hands just to make sure that the scar wax doesn't stick to my hands and get all messy. I look so angry throughout this entire video but I was having a lot of fun and I was just concentrating because I am yeah I keep saying I'm not an expert but I'm really not like I'm a beginner and I just have so much fun doing this. There are a lot of YouTubers out there that are really really good at this kind of thing and hopefully I'll get to that stage one day but yeah, this is just me playing around and experimenting and having some fun. So now I'm using some latex on top of that scar wax just to kind of like set it. And I'm using some scissors and I know this looks really gross and scary but I obviously wasn't close to my actual skin. I'm just using these to cut the scar wax open to create a kind of cut wound effect. And then again just setting that with some liquid latex. I have no idea if this technique's even like how you're supposed to do it. I didn't really do any research, what was, which was stupid, blah, blah, blah. And then once that latex is all completely dry, I'm using some translucent powder on a powder puff. Powder puff, that's so confusing. Um, to set it, and then I'm also using a little bit of foundation just to blend the color into my natural skin tone. And this is where, you know, if I had no makeup on in the beginning, it would probably blend a lot better because you can kind of see the edges and everything. But hey, this is all trial and error for me. Now to make the wound look fresh and bloody, I'm using a dark red OCC lip tar. You could also use like a matte liquid lipstick or something, although actually no matte probably wouldn't look as good. I don't know, this is quite glossy so it looks really really fresh and gooey and yuck. I'm also using some tweezers just to kind of open up that wound a little bit and filling it in with more of the bloody liquid looking stuff. You could also obviously use fake blood if you want, I have that too but I don't know, I just felt like using that. And then I'm using black gel liner and just putting this in random spaces in that cut to kind of make the blood look all clotted and I don't know, it just gives it some dimension. I'm now using some different colored eyeshadows to create a kind of bruised look around the edges of the cut. So I'm using like purples and a little bit of pink and stuff just to make you know make it look a little bit more realistic ish I don't really know and then for the staples I'm taking like two or three staples at a time so they look quite thick as you can see rather than taking single staples each time and in some places it sticks straight into the scar wax in some places I used a little bit of lash glue and then just held them in place until they dried and they stuck on really really well and then I just used a little more lash glue to kind of reinforce them they did not fall off they lasted really 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 well and then I'm just using a little bit of fake blood in the wound as well. I actually really like how this one turned out. I kind of wish I stopped here um, because the one on the nose didn't stick down very well. I'll tell you why in a second. But yeah, I really like how this one looks. I think it looks quite cool. And I mean, just for a Halloween party or something, I think, you know, it looks super, super wicked and realistic enough. And then for the second one, I was just trying to figure out where I wanted to put it. Um, and I decided to go over my nose, so I'm putting down some liquid latex again. I'm just following all the same steps. And this one didn't stick over my nose as easily, obviously. Like, your nose is quite lumpy, so it's a little more difficult to kind of blend and everything. But also, I fiddled around with the scar wax way too much, and it got really, really sticky. And then it started, like, peeling and going lumpy, and it was just kind of a massive disaster but I think I know how to get it better next time especially now that I have a proper spatula tool and I'll do it before doing my makeup and everything but same steps I'm just using the scissors to kind of create little gashes how gross does that look and then setting everything with some liquid latex just so that it you know lasts a little bit better and doesn't kind of melt around and stuff because I find that the scar wax can kind of move around a little bit I don't know
I guess I could just like pretend that the look I was going for was nose falling off, melting. I don't know, it kind of looks like the skin's melted and bubbled up and gone all nasty. I don't even know. But I still think it came out quite cool. Like I'm still proud of it for my first attempt. And if you guys, you know, give it a go, you should definitely tag me in some photos. You could even do this without any special effects makeup and just draw the gash on kind of thing. And then use some staples and just use a little bit of lash glue just to kind of you know stick them down and everything have a little play around like this is supposed to be fun so just have fun with it please give this video a thumbs up i'll love you forever leave me a comment below and let me know if you've got more requests for halloween i've got a few more videos coming up of course and i will talk to you guys again very very soon love you guys heaps bye hey everyone so today's tutorial is a day to night makeup look where i show you how to take your day look into nighttime by just adding a few extra products i'm going to show you what to pack in your travel makeup bag you could take this to work you could take it to university wherever you are going to be and then if you want to head out for a night out or a date or whatever you are prepared to just 